Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys everything that my mom has taught me in about 20 years. So, I'm almost 20, I'm not quite 20, and my mom has a birthday coming up at the end of the month, if it's July. If it's August, if it's August, her birthday is in July. Her birthday is on July 29th. So, happy birthday, Mom. I don't know when this will be up. I hope it's up on your birthday or maybe a little before, hopefully not after. But here are all of the things that you've taught me in the last 20 years of my life. You've taught me how to give love, even to those who don't deserve it. And I, what I mean by that is um, you've taught me to love people who have never seen me at my lowest point. People who I don't think deserve to be in my life to see that. You taught me to love them, and that is what I think is important. You also taught me how to tie my shoes, which I needed to learn. So thank you for teaching me that. You taught me how to be strong even when I'm feeling weak. And you, like my brother, have taught me compassion, but you've also taught me grace and honesty and patience as well as my brother. Another thing you taught me was how to cook. I love to cook, but for the longest time I didn't know how to cook. I know how to cook now. Thank you, Mom. You taught me that it's okay that we look alike, but it's also okay that I also kind of look like my dad. So, yeah. You taught me the difference between emotional and logical and sentimental and practical. And I feel like that's a good difference to know because too many people mistake emotional for sentimental and they mistake logical for practical. And I like knowing the difference. You, you also taught me the difference between gentle and mediating and instigating and argumentative. Argumentative. You didn't teach me how to say that word. <laughs> I, don't, I should know how to say that word. I am like a super senior in a community college. I should know how to say that word. I swear if my phone falls during this video too, girl. <laughs> You taught me kindness, and I think that's important. You also taught me sympathy and forgiveness. You definitely taught me forgiveness because I am, I don't hold grudges, but I don't forgive people easily because if they hurt me once, I know they'll hurt me again. You taught me how to be wiser but how to still be my age. Like, I'm almost 20, and I like to think that I know things that some other people don't know because of what my mom has taught me. And there are things that I know that other 20-year-olds don't know. Um, you taught me that vulnerable and weak are not the same, but to be vulnerable takes courage. To let someone in takes courage. It's something that a lot of people don't do, and it's something that I feel... You have taught me, Mom, so thank you. Um, you taught me to have quiet and unexpected strengths. Oh, look, it's Buddy! You taught me that hard work pays off, and you taught me how to be independent. But you also told me never to doubt myself and to always stay true to myself. So being away in college... I doubt myself a lot. There are a lot of things that I doubt that I can't do, but I know that I can. You also taught me how to be independent. You taught me that only I can limit myself. I am the only limit. The limits I place on myself are the only limits that I have. You also taught me that I can never give up, ever. Another thing, that I really think is important that you taught me, Mom, is that the future is uncertain and that that is okay. It's okay to not know where I'm going to be five years, ten years from now. It's okay if I don't know where I want to go or in my career field what I'm going to choose. It's okay to not know. You taught me to always accept the challenges no matter how difficult. 
you taught me that I have to put my mind to it if I can do it. Like this, doing what I'm doing, is not easy, but I do it. You taught me to never be afraid of who I am. And for the longest time, I didn't know who I was. And to this day, I still don't know who I am. I'm still discovering myself. You taught me that it's okay to ask for help. And it doesn't make you weak if you do. Sorry, I have a bug bite on my leg. You taught me that asking for help does not make me weak and that it's okay. You taught me never to hate anyone, no matter what. You taught me to always be happy, unapologetically happy, no matter what. I could be having the worst day of my life, but I will still be happy because that is what you have taught me, Mom. But another thing that you've taught me is that it's okay to put myself first. It's okay to have moments where I don't want anyone else to do anything. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. You taught me that I'm stronger than I think I am. And I'm not saying that I think I'm weak because I know I'm not. But mom, you've been through so much. And I don't know if you're going to watch this and I really hope you do. But you've gone through so much with me and my brother. Everything that's happened. You've been through so much. But never once did I think you were weak. You never faltered. You never did anything. You are stronger than you think you are. And you have taught me that I am stronger than I think I am. And then another thing you taught me was to always be the bigger person, no matter how small they make you feel. And thank you for teaching me that, Mom, because honestly, if I had not felt like I was the bigger person, I probably would have given in to peer pressure, amongst other things. You taught me that the only way people will respect me is if I respect myself, and I have a high level of respect for myself. You taught me <clears throat> that I should never settle for less than I deserve. And I deserve anything that I am willing to give to myself. You taught me that I, that when I don't think I can do it, I can do it. Because you believe in me, Mom. You believe in me and I can do whatever I put my mind to. You taught me how to spot a lie and to know that in the end, the truth will always come out. Always. Always. And another thing, that, and you told me this the other day too, you were like, it's okay if they don't like you because I love you. And I love me too. And I love you, mom. But you're right, it is okay if they don't like me because you love me and I love me and and I got my dog and my cat. She's hiding right now. Um, you told me to be kind to people, even if they're unworthy. And I know I probably said the same thing like three different ways. But to be kind to someone who does not deserve kindness is something that you do all the time, Mom. You, you've done it to so many people, and thank you. You told me to always check the clearance section because you never know what you might find. I have this on here twice, so it's pretty important, again, to be independent. Um, you also told me to follow my gut because I tend to do that. Like, if I feel uncomfortable in a situation, I will pull myself out of it. You always told me to be bold because my attitude and personality speak louder than any physical feature I have. And that is right. You know, my personality, my general personality, I'm a fun person. I'm very serious, but I like to be, I, I like to make jokes and I like to, oh, look at buddies. Oh, he, he's not zooming. I thought he was zooming. But still, look at my dog. Isn't he cute? Um, you told me to speak my mind, but to do it respectfully. And that is a challenge because not very many people know respect. Um... 
which I mean, no matter how smart or pretty I think I am, it doesn't matter if I don't have a good, kind heart. And that is more important than being smart. Having a good heart, a good, kind heart, I feel is more important than anything else in the world. And then even if I don't succeed, <coughs> all that matters is that I did my best. And then my family is everything because you're going to lose friends. I mean, you're going to make friends and they're going to be your friend for a really long time. Hi, honey. Say my cat just came in. I don't know what she's doing. I don't want them to fight. Okay, Go, honey. Go. Go. No, she's going to stand there and stare at the dog. Um, and you always told me that I am always welcome at home, no matter how old I am. No matter where I've been or where I'm going in the future, I am always welcome at home. Thank you, Mom, for teaching me all of these things and for all of the things you're going to teach me in the future. And what I want you guys to do is leave a comment down below letting me know what your mom has taught you. And I'm sorry if I'm wearing the same thing in like the next like two or three videos. I'm pre-filming all of these. I don't know when this one's going to go up, but I'm starting school in August. So I'm pre-filming so that I can focus on getting into a schedule at school and everything. So, what has your mom taught you that I might have left off my list? I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.